Hi guys, it's Maka and Chloe here and we're about to take you on our Greek odyssey. Yeah, we've just arrived in Athens, one of Europe's oldest cities, and we're really excited to explore some of the sites, both old and new, before heading off to a couple of the islands. Yeah, definitely. And everyone has heard of Santorini and Mykonos, but we're going to take you on a couple of the lesser known islands in the Cyclades, Andros and Tinos. Yeah, but first, let's explore Athens. Athens is a city full of history. Walking around places like Hadrian's Library and the Acropolis, you're seeing monuments that are over 2,000 years old. There aren't many places in the world where you can walk in the footsteps of Greek philosophers and Roman emperors. But this is a city that's changing fast too. We loved wandering around, taking in the mix of historic ruins and modern architecture. Also, don't forget to look up. There are so many huge, colourful murals on the sides of the buildings here too. When everyone thinks of Athens, they think of the Acropolis and ancient history, but it's actually an incredibly modern city too. We've come down to the contemporary art gallery of the Public Tobacco Factory, and there's this exhibition going on called Dream On, and it's just this kaleidoscope of kind of different designs, different sculptures, different pieces of art. It's absolutely fascinating, and it just goes to show how far the city's come. best ways to get to know a new city is by going off on a food tour and today we are heading out on a tour with Alternative Athens. We're going to sample loads of delicious street foods, all the local delicacies and hopefully our local guide is going to show us all the sites so that we know exactly where to go. We are working our way through lots of delicious Greek street foods today and I have now made it to a savoury course. This is a pita wrap with pork and chicken inside. Looks absolutely delicious. Mm. <laughs> a few people had recommended we visit Ergon House, which is part market and part restaurant. We couldn't resist ordering the beef souvlaki and the traditional sausages from Thessaloniki. They were absolutely delicious. Today has been a bit of a travel day, so we woke up nice and early and hopped in the taxi about quarter past six and went to the port of Athens, which took about 45 minutes. And then we hopped on a ferry to Andros, which took two hours, but it's totally worth it. Yeah, so worth it when you get here. Now, Andros is in the Cyclades Islands, which is also including places like Mykonos, which you've probably heard of. But Andros is a little bit more undiscovered, it's a bit more authentic. So if you want to go somewhere without the big crowds and the tourists, this is the place to come and it's full of nature as well. While we're in Andros, we're staying in the capital, which is Chora, and this is a very, very charming town, all filled with white and blue buildings, very typical of the Greek islands. And it's quite small and intimate with lots of lovely shops too. And there's even a beach on either side here. So one of the top things to do here in Andros is to go hiking. Uh, there are hiking trails all around the island and we're going on a bit of a hike today. Already got myself a little marker. We're basically following it all the way down there. I can hear the river, so we're basically doing a river trek to a waterfall at the end of it. It's supposed to be absolutely spectacular and uh, yeah, looking forward to this one. It's gonna be a good day. I'm not saying all hikes should end with a bit of a waterfall swim, but I mean, it does help crawl off, doesn't it? And I'm just spotted, there's actually a Tarzan swing up there, and I think it's got your name <laughs> on it. <laughs> Once 
one of the tours that Explore Andros offer is to come out with a local fisherman and we are talking about a proper local fishing boat here. There are nets everywhere. It's really cool little insight into kind of local fisherman's life. And we're basically just sailing around the island a bit and getting to see a different view. And yeah, this place is absolutely gorgeous. So yeah, it's uh, nice being on the water. This is so cool. The captain just said, do you want to jump off of the lighthouse? And I was like, yep. I mean, the views all around here are absolutely stunning. And there, over there is order. <laughs> so cool. From Andros, we hopped on the ferry to Tinos, which took three and a half hours. I loved the views from the deck on the way. And once we arrived, we couldn't wait to start exploring the island. Tinos is famous for its very historic and charming villages and we are currently in one of the prettiest of them all. This is Cardiani. One of the best things about this one is it's built right on the edge of the mountain so the views from up here, absolutely spectacular. Some of the villages on the Ciclades Islands have their own natural springs. Now this water, some of the best very good for you, rich in minerals, and nice and chilled. <laughs> Whilst we've been exploring the island, we have noticed marble absolutely everywhere, used in the churches, but also in the statues and the town squares. So we thought we'd come down to the Museum of Marble Crafts now. This place is actually really cool because you get to see some really old traditional statues and kind of how they use marble here, but there's also some modern sculptures too. We have just walked down from the Marvel Museum to Pyrgos, which is another absolutely gorgeous little village here on Tinos. Now, firstly, this place is just super cute walking around, and secondly, you just see marble used everywhere. Balconies, steps, it's awesome. We've never visited a vineyard in such a unique location. It's often pretty windy up here too, which combined with that volcanic soil gives the wines a special salty, mineral-rich flavour. We are currently on the most amazing tour at Tinos Winery and we started up at one of the highest points of the island where they're growing the vines and it's just the most amazing landscape up there. They're growing it in the volcanic soil and you've got boulders all around so it's obviously very tough conditions for the grapes to kind of grow and it just produces the best wine and now we get to taste them. I always say this is like my favourite part of the wine tour, so we're going to get stuck in. It's a salty rosé wine. Mmm, very salty. Most of the people. We loved how many different experiences we packed into one week in Greece. From the great cuisine in Athens to visiting the lesser known islands of Andros and Tinos, which are both filled with so much natural beauty and charm, we just can't wait to return again soon.